So this lesson is kind of a fun one for me to teach. I have page 185 in front of me and it's using pronouns again, but it's choosing the correct pronoun, either using I or me um, in a sentences. And this is another one of those cases where grownups um, sometimes just don't know which one is the right one to use. And so we're going to spend a little time talking about it before I go through this with you. So sometimes you use I. For example, I am going to school. I went home. I did my work. That's an easy one. You wouldn't say me went home. That sounds like kind of like baby talk, right? Like you might have talked that way when you were younger, but your ear knows better now. It just doesn't sound right. So when when you're talking about yourself at the beginning or in the subject of a sentence, you would refer to yourself as I. But if you are talking about yourself like toward the end of the sentence, um, and it's like it, it would be an object pronoun, you would use me. Now, I have a trick that I've always used, um, and it helps me know if I should use I or me. Um, if I'm talking about myself and another person, and I'm not sure if I should say Julie has handed the books to Lucy and me, or if it should say Julie handed the books to Lucy and I, a lot of people would say to Lucy and I, and they, they would think, boy, I'm being very proper using great English. But the trick that I was taught and I've always used is to take the other person's name out and try me or I. Would you say Julie handed the books to me? Or would you say Julie handed the books to I? Now, when I take Lucy out of it, your ear knows that you would say me. Julie handed the books to me, not Julie handed the books to I. And to this day, if I am not sure, I do that little trick and I try the sentence with I and with me all by itself. And then I know. So that's just a, a little hint that might help you if you're having trouble remembering. So right now as we go down this, we are going to decide if we want I or me. Blank watched my dogs chase the ball. Well, this would be pretty easy, right? We aren't going to say me watched my dog. We would say I watched my dog chase the ball. It's in the subject of the sentence and it's all by itself. Dad and... Me entered a dish in the potluck contest or dad and I. Would we say I entered a dish or would we say me entered a dish? Hopefully your ear can hear that you would say I, right? Dad and I entered a dish. Amy went to the vet with my dog Sparky and I or my dog Sparky and me. Well, Amy went to the vet with I? No. Amy went to the vet with me. So it would be my dog Sparky and me. And you'll start noticing the I's get used in the subject, the me's get used toward the end. And that's that's another way to kind of tell. My service dog helps me cross the street. Can me help you plan the contest or can I? Can I help you plan would make sense there. Me liked the pasta salad or I liked the pasta salad best? Definitely an I there. I liked the pasta salad the best. The judge couldn't decide, so she gave the first prize to both Andy and I, or Andy and me. Gave the first prize to me in the, in the, the end there, the object pronoun. I own a black dog named Ruby. Ruby has been with my sister and me because Ruby has been with me since I was five years old. Someday I would like to train puppies, not someday me. You would only have to say these out loud and your ear should know that that makes sense. I'm gonna keep rolling to the back side, 186 pronouns and homophones. I feel like some of this is going to be a review, um, knowing when to use its, I-T-S, and its with an apostrophe I, um, its, for it is, or when to use your, or when to use your, which is short for you are, or there, 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 there the place, 
they're belonging to or they're meaning they are. So we want to use these in the right place. Again, this is an example of something that grown ups sometimes struggle with. So maybe your parents <laughs> will enjoy the review too if they listen in um, because th this is just something that can be a little tricky to remember. So if we can get it nailed down when we're younger, um, I think we'll have better grammar when we're older. So we just have to circle the correct one here. Dog training can be a fun activity for both you and your or your dog. Well, can you say for both you and you are dog? Does that make sense? It does not. So you're going to use your dog. It belongs to you. It's important to work with your dog every day. Can we say it is important to work with your dog every day? We could. So that means that we would use the it's with the apostrophe because we can say it is. Dogs perform best when they're praised for good behavior. Now, this one is the contraction short for they are. Can we put they are here? Dogs perform best when they are praised for good behavior. That makes sense, doesn't it? So we would go with the contraction there. If you're patient with your dog, you can teach him or her to roll over. This is one of those I would tend to see a lot of grown-ups choosing the first one. Um, but can you say, if you are patient with your dog? Yes, you could. You definitely need the contraction here. If you're patient, not if you're patient. Um, if you're patient with your dog, if you are patient. So that's how you know. It's important to train a puppy. Can we say it is important? Yes, we can. Then we need to choose the one with the apostrophe. You can buy a leash at a pet supply store. Ask a clerk to help you when you get there. We're talking about the place, not when you get they are. So we want to choose the first one there. Um, the best time to train your dog is when he or she is young. Can you say you are dog? The best time to train you are dog? That would not make sense, would it? So we definitely want to go with your dog. Dogs can still be trained when they're older too. When they are older? Yes. Not, we're not talking about the place there. We are using the contraction. Um, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, just kind of read over the this chart again. Study that. This might be important on Friday. Good luck.